Hey guys, it's Shay from the Something Turquoise team, and I wanted to show you how to customize today's DIY, which is these nursery closet dividers. Obviously, I made them to match my little one's nursery, but I wanted to give you the option to customize them to match your own. So if you, in the post, you'll see that you can click the link right here to open the project and design space, which I already have open, so we'll go ahead and start there. Uh, so once you click that link, obviously this is how they look when I made them for myself and customizing them is easy, but it does take a little bit of know-how. So I'm going to walk you through it and hopefully it's not too painful. So we'll go ahead and start with the newborn um, divider. And right now it's flattened, which means all of this is printed as one image and then cut along the outside. So if I hit unflatten, each individual item is now separate. Actually, that only unflattened the words. So we're gonna have to do one more unflatten and now it's all separate. And just because I unflattened this top layer, um, the words are still there, but they went back behind. So you can see right over here, it's underneath these layers. So what I'm gonna do is click on the words and it will probably be easiest to do these individually as opposed to um, trying to do them all at once. So let's, right now, obviously the newborn word is selected and I'm gonna go ahead and hit arrange and hit send to front. That way it's all back where it belongs. So now here's where the fun part is. And let's say your nursery is um, different shades of blue for your little baby boy. So I want to switch the words to maybe a light blue. And I want to switch this mint part to a darker shade of blue. It's that easy. So let's see, I think I might like that a little bit better. So if this is what you're happy with, then that's great. All you would need to do is select it all and reflatten it and then it's going to print just how it was. See, now it's all one image again. Um, if you aren't happy with that, you can unflatten and start over. Sorry, I don't know why my mouse keeps doing that. Oh, there we go. So you can play around with it, uh, create however you like. Maybe your nursery is just black and white or black and gray. It's that easy. So. Um, play around, make it your own. It would be um, really fun to see all the different ways that you can create your own dividers. Um, speaking of, another really cool thing is the little plastic pieces that I linked in the post. I believe there's 31 different colors of those. So between customizing this part and those dividers, the little plastic part, um, you really can make it your own. So uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with and happy crafting.